How does the Calico eBPF data plane work? To answer that, let's talk about eBPF. In your computer or server, you have hardware. You have an operating system that includes a kernel and the code running inside your server or computer. There is user space, usually where we are. You are here. In most cases, when you write a program or use a program, it is executed in the user space, using abstraction layers built into the kernel. This API goes to the kernel and says this program wants to send a TCP packet or UDP packet, for example, for networking. With eBPF, you can come to these system calls while they are running or change the behavior of these system calls in the kernel. For instance, if something is running in a pod or in a process, you could kill it and say, this is not safe. eBPF is a superpower inside the kernel that allows you to interact directly with the kernel without compiling it. The Calico eBPF data plane uses the same concept. Let's take a simple networking example. Let's say there is a packet coming toward your server. Depending on the destination of this packet, a couple of scenarios might happen. If the packet is trying to reach a pod, the first thing it will see is the networking card of your server. When the packet comes to the NIC, Calico uses its eBPF programs to intercept that packet at the earliest point of entry and send it directly to the pod. This completely bypasses the kernel networking stack. However, in the standard Linux data plane, when that packet comes to a NIC, it goes to the OS kernel. After that, it is forwarded to the kernel networking stack and through chains and filters, it will be sent to its destination. In some cases, this could be good. In others, not as efficient. You can use eBPF to figure out if a packet is what it says it is at the earliest points of system interaction, like when it's received by your networking card. You cannot do this with a standard data plane. Now that we know how the eBPF data plane works, let's see what happens when you enable it in Calico. Felix, the brain of Calico, creates eBPF programs and dispatches them to your pod interfaces and your host interfaces. In Calico Enterprise and Calico Cloud, it also runs Skimble, a runtime security binary, and provides the foundation for observability and monitoring capabilities like dynamic service and threat graph. This looks at all the processes running or soon to be running in your cluster to figure out which one is trying to do something malicious or out of context and flags it to you. In Calico, when you choose eBPF, everything will be translated to eBPF programs. As an example, by default, Linux is stateless, meaning if a packet comes in, it doesn't know where it should be returned to, unless it is explicitly instructed. Most Linux operating systems use a component called Contrac, a table with records of packets and their origin, that Linux receives and forwards to your applications. Then these records will be used to return the response packet to you. In eBPF mode, Calico creates a contract table using BPF maps and programs. As you can see, Calico eBPF increases your networking efficiency and lowers the latency of your services. So that's it, folks. Now you've learned how the Calico eBPF data plane works.